Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception throw. And that last one, that hurts. A run by Connor on first down and a good one as he'll get about seven here. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. I'm here all day. To throw here, Roethlisberger. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. It's a Pittsburgh first down, a gain of 13. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good Aww. And it's intercepted. Get it. Picked off by Juan Thornhill. And they will set up shop at their own 46-yard line. So a pretty shaky start here for both sides. Yeah, each quarterback's throwing a ball to the other team. Do you think on both sidelines, they're sitting them down and saying, okay, remember, this is the color jersey we're wearing. <laughs> they're wearing the other color. Let's make sure we get it to our guys, please. They'll roll him out right. Oh, He's that's fucking robbery. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Demarcus Robinson, 54 yards. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And his kick is good to make it 7-0 KC. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! The Steelers take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. There are a good number of coaches that any time they call an in route are really worried about the play because there's so much traffic ordinarily that the ball has to get through to get to the receiver. And on that play, it was batted down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. No, what the fuck are you doing? So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. Barry on to punt as he gets this one away. An excellent return that time, 26 yards. And this offense takes over in great shape right at the 50, first and 10. The Chiefs in good position to start out as they come up first and 10, right at the 50-yard line. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Buying time to his left. It's caught. That's it's fucking robbery. And he'll get this one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. First down. First and 10 at the 21 yard line. Hello, 480. E, 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 E. Watch the run. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. 
Ah, they let him catch the shit. For a chief touchdown. Sammy Watkins there to make the grab. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. Butker now to add the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and take it. The Steelers take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think they're going to stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. And after the incompletion, here now, third and two. Now it's Roethlisberger. Ah, oh, look at this shit! Smith Schuster, but it's intercepted. Picked off by the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. And he will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. Part of what we just saw, that's a great example of a team that was really amped up. They've been playing so well, yet they didn't get overexcited and have a bust on defense that gave up a big play. Instead, they created their own big play with a pick six. This one may be over. Yeah, it's just the first half, but that lead has swelled to the point where you're wondering if it is over already. This is taken about seven yards deep. Let's go, baby. Let's go. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. here, second and a yard from the 34. First carry of the game for Jalen Samuels. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll run again with Samuels on first down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. On second and 11 now, Roethlisberger. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he's finally... Man, what the fuck is this doing? Taken down, and it's a big game there on what'll turn out to be the final play. Of Man, it's a tough game when I was doing stupid shit. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Hey, hey, Roy! I'm coming up to you. Looking for the end zone. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Jalen Samuels, 29 yards. As they are now on the board here in the first half. Down three scores already. This game was really in danger of getting away from them. They needed a drive like that, especially on the road. Not only to calm themselves, 
but maybe tamp down the crowd a little bit because everything was against them. As you noted, this game could have gotten away from them very easily, but instead, the calming drive. Now they have a little bit more confidence. Okay, we're back in it. All right, we're ready to go. That was impressive. And the defense now needs to reciprocate. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. They are just putting things together so well here, drive after drive. They really have captured the momentum, haven't they? They've taken momentum and pretty much not just give him a jersey, but a seat on the bench. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Joe Hayden, the veteran, with a pick, and they will set up shot in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. From the 39, Roethlisberger. That one into the hands of his tailback, Samuels. That one good for 14 yards and a Steeler first. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. And it's complete. He gets this one to Washington. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 13-yard line. On first down, it's Samuels. And he's brought down. 12 more yards there and another first down. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll try to run it. This is Connor, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. James Connor taking it in as his guys are back within a single score. Extra point put through by Boswell. And they're back with it, a touchdown at 21-14. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. That'll be taken in the end zone. They juked him. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They've seen their 21-0 advantage cut to just seven, so time to go back to work here, first and 10. Able to get away, but in the end, the pressure too great, and he goes down. Cameron Hayward attacking off the edge that time. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Gotta assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first half highlights. And Intercept it, man. First half that we've seen. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. The rookie from Michigan there defensively. That's Devin Bush making the play. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Working from the gun, Mahomes steps away to his left. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. It'll be a gain of 12, but it will also lead to fourth down. Now the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. Here we go. Fourth down, Mahomes. Cost that off. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Steelers, they're going to take over an excellent field position. Mike, number 53. No spacing. 
They go draw play. This is Samuels. And he'll run straight into a wall of tacklers at the line of scrimmage. It's second down. Pretty effective blitz there to stop the draw play right in its tracks. And actually, when they blitz, draw play is supposed to work very well. You're supposed to have them bypass the runner, and he slips past them. But they put their eyes in the right place, took away all the creases, and slowed him down in a big way. Back, back, back. They'll throw on first down with Roethlisberger. Oh! The end zone, but it's incomplete. I had it. Trying to get that one to his tight end, and they've been trying to get the ball they to him. They rocked it! They successfully complete one, but you know there's usually a nice comfort zone and throw into the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. Check, bravo. Check, 53, Mike. Second and ten, it's Roethlisberger once more. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Juan Thornhill. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Brandon, this is why golfers do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, they throw an interception, and they're going to come away empty. Now he'll throw deep left no side and nearly picked off there. Almost intercepted. Instead, second down. Yellow. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Back near his goal line. Here's Mahomes. Flush to his right. And going deep. For and for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked up by Mika Fitzpatrick. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the right hash, it's a 35-yard attempt. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. Here we go, here we the go. Steeler back offense three. here about ready for their next drive. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That one good for 14 yards and a stealer first. Roethlisberger now 9 of 17 through the air. Shotgun handoff to Samuels. And he'll grab a gain of 5 out of this up to the 41-yard line. Part of thing from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. From the 41, Roethlisberger is going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And this will set them up nicely deep down in KC territory. A big play there on the catch and run. 47 yards. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Samuels. And here he'll get it down to the 7. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Staying on the ground with Samuels. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Yeah. 
Trying to get the first with Samuels. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat? And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. They're going on fourth down. It's Roethlisberger. That is caught. It's Juju for the Steeler touchdown. The three-yard touchdown pass, and the Steelers have taken the lead. It took a pretty big risk right there going for it on fourth down. But, hey, not only did they get the first down, forget about that. They got in the end zone. Yeah, because normally you're just thinking, can I get enough yardage to get it past the sticks and pick up a first down? Instead, they go for the end zone and get it done with no margin for error. Remember, fourth down, they went for it. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to... And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. It's picked by the linebacker, T.J. Watt. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. Watkins, the intended receiver. They'll run on first down. Connor. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a Pittsburgh first down, a gain of 13. On the run is counter. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. To throw on second and six. Roethlisberger escaping the pressure right. He's got the tight end, Vanette. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. A little risky there when you roll out of that pocket right like he did. You complete the pass, but you don't get anything out of it. But how many times have we seen when a quarterback exits out of the pocket, doesn't matter whether they go left or right, the defense loses its leverage, right? They, there's a little chaos back there, and, and receivers come open. Great discipline on that play. They didn't let that happen and held it to no game. Now Roethlisberger to throw. The quick slant caught. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. That gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. Fourth quarter, holding on to a lead. Fullback carry, three or four yards. I guess that's what you're looking for. And it just brings back memories for me because I remember my... And he's in. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. James Conner, his second touchdown of the night. And the Steelers capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. Boswell good with the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 23. Make it the 21 zip. This nigga been stuck on 21 points the rest of the fucking game. Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling. Because oh, my use a pick. goodness, another interception. The safety Terrell Edmonds picks it. And they will finally. Oh, you finna quit now. You finna quit, but you will be my ass 21 zil. <laughs> you can't do nothing.